Hey everybody, have you ever been in a situation where you were trying to have a conversation with someone but you just didn't have anything to talk about? Well, today's video is going to help you because we're going to react to historical misconceptions for you to bring up during family dinner. So in case you don't know what you, what you should talk about, well, here are some ideas, let's go. Hey kid. Yeah, you. I just got off the phone with the big man upstairs. <laughs> And he told me that I need to clear a few things up around here. So without further ado, here's 10 pieces of malarkey that you might still be spreading. Number one, nobody was ever burned to death at the Salem witch trials. Oh, of the accused, 15 died in prison, 19 were hanged, and one was squished to death. That last one is way more interesting than any- Yeah, last one is pretty good, right? I mean, squished to death sounds, sounds, sounds like a... Uh... A good ending, right? Cremation, by the way. Dude was a badass. His name was Giles Corey. He was 81 years old and so Jeez. done with the town of Salem's garbage that he wouldn't even dignify the trial with a plea. So the town stuck in between two boards and stacked rocks on top of him in an effort to draw out a confession. But every time they tried to get something out of him, all they would say was, More weight. This went on for three solid days until he finally died, never giving any indication as to whether or not he was a witch. One can only wonder. Damn. Number two, the OG Buddha wasn't the obese guy. That's Budai, a Chinese folk character meant to represent Maitreya, aka Future Buddha. Future Buddha. Have you ever seen these statues in real life? Oh, I think I've only seen them in uh, as a small version, I'm pretty sure. Now this shirt is double sad. Number three, Buddha wasn't a god either. He was just a guy named Gautama. Now this shirt is triple sad. Number four, Wait, ever heard really? of a vomitorium? Turns out, no, it's not a place where Roman nobles would go to make <laughs> room for more pheasant spleen and lobster eyelids. It's just a big entranceway to the Colosseums that hordes of peasants would sp Wait, a vomitorium? Present infinitive from here. I am sick. Oh, intransitive, I'm sick. I vomit, puke, throw up, shot. I vomit up for I vomit up or forth discharge in you out of number five Washington never cut down a cherry tree in his youth I don't get this one at all apparently it's supposed to paint the man in a good light somehow it's like yeah. Tyler what the hell happened while we were gone where's the tree in the front yard oh yeah that was me yeah what's Got the bored. point just felt like vandalizing something you know Hey, what about my honest character? Number six, the pyramids weren't actually built by slaves. These workers were respected members of society. They ate meat and worked in three month shit. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that actually. There was a time, there was a period where I watched a lot of um, ancient Egyptian documentaries and I heard about that. Now granted, there probably were slaves at some, at some point, but if you think about it, it took a lot of coordination to do, if you think about it. I mean, even now, is it really solved on how they were built? Ifs, and even got to be buried right next to the tomb after their death. How Matter of that? fact, that's more than we can save for the people working on man's greatest achievements today. Wasn't it the same thing with the actual with the pharaohs as well that they were built to the closest, um, or to a, to a certain pyramid that they had built during the era, and sometimes they would even build or finish them uh, before the. I mean. When a pharaoh died, that they would quickly finish the, the pyramid before they actually laid him to rest. If I spent years of my life helping to build the space station, you're damn right I'd want the Salmonella Memorial Corpse Receptacle floating along right next to it. That would be amazing. Number seven, the Great Wall of China is not the only man-made object visible from space. I don't know where you dipshits got this one from. First of all, there's no way you could see it with the unaided eye. The wall is like 30 meters thick I was gonna most, say. while the distance to outer space is generally recognized to be 100 kilometers up, known as the Karman Line. To give some perspective, that's like me holding holding up a standard size guitar pick from across the entire length of a football field and asking you what color it is. Also, there are plenty of man-made objects that are way bigger in terms of local surface area than the Great Wall. So even if it was visible, there's yeah, no way it would I mean, be the only one. Number eight, you might have heard this one before. You know, Hitler was a jerk and all, but hey, he made the Autobahn, so at least he was efficient. Well, not Actually, true. Hitler didn't create the Autobahn. That's right. It was already there. He just helped expand it into newer territory. True. In a similar vein. True, I even heard about that, I even heard that uh, during history class. Uh, I think we had to do a small presentation about that. Mussolini didn't make the trains run on time, with most of Italy's infrastructure repairs happening before his rise to power in 1922. And even then, they weren't nearly as punctual as he'd like you to believe. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to find something else to like about these fascists. <laughs> like Hitler's elegant way of speaking. <laughs> or the way Mussolini says spaghetti. Paschetti!
Number 9. Iron Maidens weren't actual torture devices used in medieval times. Basically what happened is, some archaeologists in the 1800s saw an old metal coffin and some spikes, and said, yo, wouldn't it be wildin' if we put these things up in here, so that way if someone goes in it, they get poked in their bits? You are a sick man, what Cornelius. The... I like it. There's no. I, w I was about to say, you know, even if you did, even if you did discover it, I mean, were there? Would you ask yourself, you know, why were there spikes? But I guess if there weren't spikes before, that's. Damn, that guy was crazy. Into the museum it goes. At least Iron Maiden was real. They were as real as it gets. Still are. And don't you forget it. Number 10. Einstein never failed math. He had mastered both integral and differential calculus by the age of 15. 99% chance this one was just made up to make glue eaters feel better about themselves. Huh? Well, congratulations, Dimitri. Looks like you failed pre-algebra for the third time. Brady still can't graduate. Well, hey, that means I'm still on par with famous smart science man, so, uh, yeah. Worship me. So it just goes to show that we've all got a lot to learn about the world around us. There you go, folks. In case you have nothing to talk about during your next family dinner, there are some things you can talk about, and I'm sure you have plenty, plenty of uh, responses from other people that totally know everything about history. So I'm going to watch a couple more of these. You have a good one. Bye.